everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a new Miraculous Ladybug doll custom. So over here on the right side we see Anti-Bug and on the left side we see Ladybug. And in the middle here is Marinette. If you've been to my channel before, you probably know that I make My Little Pony customs. And for a while, I was making something called a split pony, which is one pony but two different characters. So I thought today it'll be really fun to make a split doll of Ladybug. We're going to take Marinette here, split her right down the middle, and one side is going to be Anti-Bug, and the other side is going to be Ladybug. I think this is going to be super cool, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's custom is going to be pretty easy. We are going to just need two paint pens, one in black and one in red. In addition, I have a roll of tape. This is just some washi tape, so it is not super sticky, but it is enough to help us split Ladybug down the middle so that we know where to paint. So we're going to take this piece of tape here and tape it right down her middle. I'm going to use multiple pieces because there is some curvature to her body here. And we're going to do the same with her back. All done, and let's go ahead and start painting. So I'm just going to start with black, and we're going to paint the entire her left side black. Okay, the torso is done. Let's just take away the tape to see if there's anything we need to fix. Oh wow, look at that. That is like a perfect line down the middle. some leaking through here but we can fix that with a q-tip but otherwise it looks beautiful so this tape method really really worked okay so let's go ahead and paint the arms and legs Alright everyone, so the black is done. It looks pretty amazing, super super shiny. Now all we have to do is add the red dots. So the red dots are going to be pretty simple on the legs and the arms. However, these are actually half dots. So I'm a little bit worried that it's going to look funny because um, I need a perfect half dot. And I'm just not really sure exactly how to do that just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put another strip of tape right down the middle. Um, protecting the red side and then we're going to add the red dots and hopefully they come out okay. Another problem that I see is that it's kind of hard to see where the black dots are so I am kind of just guessing right now. All right, I think I did all right. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with a small dotting tool and finish the dots. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I think I can freehand this. So here on the back, I'll go ahead and try it without the tape. I just need really steady hands. All right, you look pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add the other dots. I'm 
use this other doll as reference. And also the legs. And also on the back. Next, let's work on the mask. So we have our red mask here. Let's color one side black with red dots. All right, everyone, and we are done. So are you ready to see the result? So here is our split doll of Antibug and Ladybug. Here she is. What do you guys think? Doesn't she look cool? So on this side, when she turns this way, she is anti-bug. And then when she turns this way, she is ladybug. So here are the dots. I think it looks really cool split down the middle like that. Here are the dots on the right side and the left side. So on my anti-bug custom, I actually added more dots. And the reason why I didn't do it to this doll is because on the other side, the normal ladybug side, she didn't have as many dots. So I just kind of copied the same number of dots that she had on the other side. I guess I could add more dots in general, but I didn't do that. I just kept it more to the original design. Here is the back. She looks pretty good. Here are the legs. But of course she is missing something her mask. Let's go ahead and get her mask and put it on. Let's see what she looks like. And oh my goodness, here she is. Here is our split custom. We have anti-bug and ladybug. What do you think? Do you like this? I think she looks so cool. All right, everyone, this was such a fun custom to make. Do you think I should make more? If you do, let me know down below in the comment section which other characters would make really good split dolls. Alright, see you next time. Bye!